for us they toiled in sweatshops and settled the west, endured the lash of the whip and ploughed the hard earth. For us they fought and died in places like Concord and Gettysburg, Normandy and Kazan. Time and again these men and women struggled and sacrificed and worked till their hands were raw so that we might live a better life. They saw America as bigger than the sum of our individual ambitions, greater than all the differences of birth or wealth or factions. This is the journey we continue today. We remain the most prosperous, powerful nations on earth. Our workers are no less productive than when this crisis began. Our minds are no less inventive our goods and services are no less needed than they were last week or last month or last year. Our capacity remains undiminished. But our time of standing pat, of protecting narrow interests and putting off unpleasant decisions, that time has passed, surely. Starting today, we must pick ourselves up, dust ourselves off and begin again